Hello and good morning. We're in week three. Make sure you understand you have a test this weekend and your homework for week one and two is due today and it must be one file. Make sure it's one file or you will not get credit. Let's look here. What is a natural number? Well, that's one, two, three, etc. What is a whole number? Zero, one, two, three, etc. Integers, negative numbers, and positive numbers. Rational number, stops, or repeats. Irrational number, does not stop and not repeat. Make sure you know that. All right, let's go on. Solution set. Well, you have to solve this. So you would subtract five. Since these signs are the same, you get a negative six. And that's the only solution. And this is called the roster method. It's just terminology. Whole numbers less than five. That would be zero, one, two, three, and four. Okay, we have some notes here. Copy this down. All right, so when you see this, this is read four is an element of the natural numbers. Write that down, is an element of, that's what that means, and that's true. I want you to write this one, I is an element of the real numbers, and that is true. The empty set means it's not an element, no element, or the null set. Make sure you check your answers. There's something called set builder notation, and here it is. The way you read this is the set of all x's such that, that's what that little line means, such that x is an element of the natural numbers and x is greater than 7. Okay, so let's write that out. The set of all x's, that's this piece, and then that piece is such that x is an element of the natural numbers and x is greater than 7. Make sure you understand that. That's how you say that. The set of all x such that x is an element of n and x is greater than 7. Okay, I want you to try one. Write that out in words. Copy that down. Okay, here it is. The set of all x such that x is an element of the natural numbers and x is less than 4. Make sure you say that. Let's go on. There's something called a cardinal number. A cardinal number is just the number of elements in a set. So 1, 2, 3. There's only three elements in here. And that would be the cardinal number. Okay, we're going to watch a video on fuzzy logic. And then we're going to do this work right here. Let's turn our attention now to algebra, college algebra. Okay, you have a test this weekend. Your homework is due for week one and two. 
and we need to factor these. Remember you learned what's in common. So you're going to take a 2 out of here, and you're left with x squared minus 2. 2 times this is that. 2 times 2 is that. This one right here is a difference of 2 squares. It's x squared minus 8 squared, 8 times 8. So it's going to be x plus 8 and x minus 8. This one right here is new, so copy that down. Go to page 39. All right, there's a chart you need to memorize. Write this down. Okay, copy that down. And know that this one is not the same as that one. They're not the same. Okay, so if you look here, a negative and a positive right here, it's this one, yields two negatives. So if it factors, it's going to be a negative and a negative. And a negative and a negative, you're going to be adding. Okay? So in this case, the question is, what times what is 4? That's going to add to give me 4. Add to give me 4. It's got to be 2 and 2, so it's going to be x minus 2, x minus 2, and it's x minus 2 quantity squared. You can write it like that. That's the way you do that. Let's try this one. This one right here, they all have a 2, so you have to first factor out a 2. Okay? Then you look at your chart positive and a positive yields two pluses. So the question now becomes what times what equals 11 that's going to add to give you 30. Okay, so is there anything? Let's try it. 3 times 10 adds to give me 13. Um, 2 times 15 adds to give me 17. 4 times 5 is 20. We don't want that one. Um, let's see. 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is going to be 30, and that adds to give me 11. So that's going to be the answer. So it's going to be x plus 5, x plus 6, and that's how you do that. Today you have a worksheet. We're going to call this worksheet 1. Or worksheet A is what we should call it. So let me change that. So worksheet A, week 3. Okay, and today's date is 8-28. Okay, there it is. And so if you're home and you can't see the worksheet, it's right here on video, and you can copy it down. Pause the video if you have to. All right, have a good morning.